Hello everyone, welcome back to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So today in this video, we will going to discuss one trigger scenario, and the scenario is like this. Uh, okay, on the contact, whenever I am going to update or insert the contact, and on the contact, I have one checkbox with name sync. So if this checkbox is true, the values from the contact will be going to map on the account. So let's suppose I have account, and to this account, number of contacts are related. So the one which is recently added or updated, and if it the on the contact that sync checkbox is true, then the values from the contact will going to map over the accounts. So let's move to our screen and see how we can uh, achieve this scenario uh, in the screen share. So first, let me show you the fields which I have created on the account in the contact. So on contact, I have created a checkbox with name sync. So whenever this checkbox is true, it will going to map fields from contact to accounts. So now also let me show you the fields which it will going to map and the fields are present on the account also. So here let me go to the details account and here it will going to map contact first name, last name, contact email and the phone. So these four fields will be going to map as soon as the sync is true so let move to the code so here here is the trigger so trigger is created on the contact and as you can see the event selected are the before insert and the before update so before is because there is no need of the contact ID or we did not do uh, did not want to do anything after the insert of the contact. We just need some fields value which we can get before the insert event also before inserting the contact in the database. So we will going to go with the before and here is the condition applied that is the if trigger is before and it is insert or updated then it will going to call this map account function where trigger.new and the trigger.old map is passed in the parameter that is the new list and the old list old map so okay this is our class and this is the function so in this function uh, the two parameters are uh, passed uh, one one is containing the new list and the other is the old map so here first condition is put whether to check whether the new list is empty or not now the second we are looping over the new list and the main condition is that is the sync checkbox is true and account account contact is related to an account so if this both conditions are true then it will going to next check the old map and the values in the old map so as we want to uh, run our trigger on insert and update call both so we will going to handle this uh, insert and update with the old map value so if it is null then this will be the insert call and map will going to put the values of account as a key and the complete contact object as a value okay next if this map contains value then this is the old map so there is a update call because in the update call old map is not null in the insert call it is null so it will come to next and with the and and condition if any one of the uh, condition which we have put in the or is true then this will map will going to put values here so these are the some conditions which i want to fire this trigger if there is an update call so if the first name value is changed or the last name or email is changed or the account is changed or the account is changed so it will going to put values in this map so now here next we will come whether the map is empty or not so if it does not empty or if it has values then next we will going to query over the account with the key set of this map because we need now all the account as we need to map the values for these accounts so after querying out query this account with the map key set our next is for the confirmation we will check whether the map contain this account id or not if yes then we simply put values from contact to the account so the contact value we will get from the map only as in the map we have stored the complete contact object so using the uh, values uh, get 
acc obj dot account dot first name we will uh, th like this way we will going to access all the field values and put into the account values so this is something we will going to this is how we will going to map the values from contact to account and then next as you can see so now next we will going to add all these uh, account values to the list list of account so all the you know, updated values or the account which we need to update are inside this list and next we will going to dml on this update as you can see here the trigger is on before but we have used the or we have uh, performed the dml over this list so this is because on before uh, call we can not make the dml on the same object on which the trigger is created but if we want to update any another object then we can perform the dml so here we are updating the account not the contact so the dml is performed to update the another object that is the account so if it we need to update any values on the contact then there is no need to perform any dml if we are using the before so now let's uh, test this logic and see the results okay before testing let's uh, add one more condition here that is if my uh, sync is true like suppose if i have uh, created the contact and my sync checkbox is not true at that time and i have saved it after saving i want to uh, make it true or i have updated to make the value of sync true so in this case it uh, should include this update call and fire the trigger so currently on this account here are the values which are already mapped from the recently added account, uh, contact so now let's uh, try to update these values and see whether the trigger will fire or not So here as you can see uh, the values are updated for all the one which we have changed on the contact. So now next uh, let's, let's check with another condition. Okay on this contact let me try to change the contact from the uh, let me try to change the account from the contact. So currently here is the account and we will add another account here and we'll see whether these values will map on the on the new account or not so here as you can see the values are updated on this new account also hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you have any queries or any question do let me know you can connect with me on linkedin or you can connect or, or you can comment on the same video and i will be share more trigger scenario with you in coming videos till then take care goodbye